It's a big music week with some audience favorites releasing albums this week. We start off with Mexican singer-songwriter Jimena Sariñana, who received critical acclaim with past albums for her original take on pop, jazz, and rock alternative sounds. No Todo Lo Puedes Dar is her latest release, and it does not disappoint. Jimena stopped by to talk to us about her new sound and the leap she's made taking on producing her own album. It's an all-Spanish record, so I'm back in, back in Spanish, and um, it's the first album that I produced, so it's a self-produced album. I guess this album is, um, is definitely a more uh, alternative, uh, like pop alternative album. Um, it definitely has like pop structure of songs, but the production quality is, is really uh, risky, um, at least, you know, for what, what uh, I had done before. Um, it was also nerve-wracking. It was, it was um, great to, to produce. It was a huge, um, huge deal for me to produce this album. Thoughtful lyrics, soothing pop vocals, and a refreshing alternative sound. It's easy to fall in love with No Todo Lo Puedes Dar. Definitely an album not to be missed this season. Head to Head, also released on the same date as Miguel Bosé's Amo. His first studio album with some fresh new music in over four years as we had two compilation albums in the mix, including Papi Tu, where Jimena Sariñana was also one of the artists that collaborated with him on the song Aire Soy, and who holds a dear friendship and respect for the artist. I'm totally in love with Miguel Bosé. He's one of the most amazing people that I've ever met and um, he is the ultimate world star and you know and, and he's always known for he's been known in pop music as always breaking new ground and always you know pushing the limits of what's um, allowed in pop music and I think that's that's definitely you know why he's he is who he is. Amo is an album that is well thought out with messages of love, politics, and a little bit of fantasy, characteristic of Bosé. It's the return of the classic Bosé style. We love the sound of this new album as it brings back memories of the songs that we most remember him by. In fact, Miguel was quoted by the record company as saying the album is the most Bosé-like he has done in years. We love it. This album is definitely our pick of the week.